Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about Dennis the Menace now because I'm talking about the 1996 TV show that have been many many versions adapt adapted from the comic book series but I'm talking about the 1996 one as part of my 90s nostalgia series. Now what strikes me as peculiar about Dennis the Menace is that it does provide a lot of elements that I am completely against in a TV show yet I loved this when I was younger. It was one of, no, I want to say it was one of my favourites. I didn't collect the merchandise Although McDonald's did do a lot of Dennis and Menace toys. Uh, I didn't really collect the merchandise, but I loved watching it. I watched it quite a lot. Uh, obviously, it is about Dennis, who is a menace. It's baked right into the title. There's nothing more fun than a title that gives the entire plot line away. It's fantastic. And I'm sure most of you will know what it is. Even if you haven't seen the 1996 TV show, even if you haven't seen the films or the remakes, or you've never read the comic books, there's a good chance you will know what Dennis the Menace is. And basically, Dennis gets up to a lot of mischief with his dog, Nasher. Now, Nasher is a scruffy mutt, but he's very lovable and very sweet. He, he makes a really funny noise as well, which is um, very random. And what I, don't, what I don't like about this is the fact that Dennis is technically promoting bad behaviour, even, even though at the end of every episode he does, you know, get his comeuppance, whatever he's done wrong will bounce back at him, and he'll have to apologise and things like that. It still promotes bad behaviour. So if children only watch half the episode, they're not getting the good moral at the end of it. However, you do have the moral at the end of it. I just, I'm not a fan of episodes where, of TV shows where the protagonist or one of the characters that were supposed to, that the children think they're supposed to look up to. You know, if you say, Dennis the Menace is hardly a Shakespearean tragedy, you don't take it for granted that the character is going to come off wrong if his, if his name's in the title. But, nobody kind of, when you're younger you don't pay attention to the fact that the main character is a bad guy. You realise that they're being mischievous, but you don't necessarily realise the severity of their consequences. For example, if Dennis the Menace threw, threw a pie in, in, in Walter's face, Walter is his, his arch, nem arch nemesis, Walter is technically the antagonist, but it's kind of role reversal because Walter is really quite a good guy, apart from when he's being deceiving and setting plots and things. Um, so really, children have two negative characters to look, to, uh, look up to. Dennis who does things wrong, but sometimes it's not Dennis's fault, I will point that out, sometimes it's not Dennis's fault, sometimes it's Walter's fault, but children have two characters there who are kind of deceiving and kind of not very well behaved, even though Walter likes to think he is, everyone thinks Walter is perfect and everything is Dennis's fault. It's quite a lot of information for children to deal with and a lot of things going on and they have, they for themselves have to work out what's right or wrong. Now I'm not saying that children have ever gone to prison for copying the act, well, you know, when they're older, they've ever gone to prison because they were influenced by Dennis the Menace. But it is that kind of program which I don't like. However, the plot line, this is the whole point of my video, the plot line, I think, unfolds beautifully. When we do find out that Dennis is in the wrong, or Walter's in the wrong, or whoever is um, the one who's projecting the morals in this episode, when we find out that they're in the wrong, it has projected really, really well. The moral is very clear. So, for example, the moral could be, don't put a pin on your teacher's seat. A little bit, one of the more milder ones, I'll be honest. Um, so it is very good. The plot develops really, really well and at a fantastic pace. It does keep you hooked. Even now as an adult viewer, I do think it's quite interesting, even though it is aimed at children. I think the film is more of a family film, but I haven't really seen the film in quite a while. But I will watch it at some point. So I do think Dennis is just often misunderstood. But that doesn't always come across, so you do have to look deeper, you do have to pay more attention, which 9 times out of 10 is fine, but I think you will get the odd child who will watch it and not understand that Dennis is doing wrong, especially when you're younger. I think if you watch this, it's like playing Grand Theft Auto when you're under the age of the certificate line. You don't necessarily understand that what's going on is wrong, you just think it's fun. Whereas when you're playing it when you're more mature, you hopefully realise that that isn't how you behave and it is just a computer game and you're not supposed to go and do the actions. It is a very interesting programme though. It is obviously exceptionally well received, you know, it's a massive franchise, not as big now as it was. I think Horrid Henry's kind of taken over the whole role of Dennis the Menace nowadays. Um, I don't necessarily think that's a fair comparison. Um, but I do think Howard Henry is kind of a 21st century replacement for Dennis the Menace in, in many ways for the younger generations. But it is, it's a fantastic, fantastic program providing children don't copy the actions of the characters. But that's just my personal preference. It's like Rotten Ralph. Rotten Ralph could be said the same thing. Except Rotten Ralph gets his comeuppance much quicker in the episodes than, for example, Dennis the Menace or, or Howard Henry. 
Howard Henry is quite a lot like Dennis the Menace. He is very often misunderstood as well. But yeah, fantastic program, loved by many, and it's something which I would quite happily today sit down and watch. You know, I do enjoy it. I think it's it's really, really well done. And the character of Dennis the Menace is quite adorable. In his own ways, he's quite cute. But let me know your thoughts on Dennis the Menace and whether or not you loved it or if you still love it. Um, or if you loved the original TV series uh, that was on quite a lot before the 90s. But let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye.